Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today, we are going to be breaking down what can only be described as the greatest update, or at least the biggest update in Dokkan battle history, and the official name for it is version Z, aka version 5.0.0. Now, before we jump into it, I do want to give a big shout out to uh, Harry Turney on Twitter for posting all the information from the stream that happened earlier this morning, as well as Rammer1995 from, I'm assuming, the Dokkan Battle Reddit for posting a bunch of the translations as well. I actually wasn't able to catch the stream this morning, so this video would not have been possible without them. So thank you to Harry Turney and uh, Rammer1995. So with that said, let's start from the top. It says, Dokkan Battle Version Z Start Commemoration Live Stream Recap and this was the uh, thumbnail they used for the stream. So what is Version Z? It is a long-term project that will allow Dokkan Battle to evolve. Sounds good. Tutorial. As mentioned in the 350 million download stream, the tutorial will be getting a renewal and will be placed in the Saiyan Saga. So as you guys know, the current tutorial is pretty bare bones. It's pretty lame, right? So now it's going to get a whole revamp. There's going to be much nicer animations. It's going to give people basically a better impression, first impression of the game when they first start. And in this screenshot, you can see a preview of uh, some of the tutorial animation screens. And yeah, it looks infinitely better than what we have right now. Uh, there's also going to be a recruitable SSR Goku that can Dokkan Awaken all the way to LR and even has the Kaioken attack as an active skill. So this is available to of course new players, but also current players. Um, we will be able to acquire him in some way. I think it's going to be through missions, but I'm not 100% sure. Either way, new free to play LR Goku with a Kaioken attack active skill. Pretty dope. Next up, we have DB Story, uh, which is a new event. You will be able to experience... Hold on, let me just uh, take away the webcam here. You will be able to experience the Dragon Ball story in this new event. Different sagas from DB to GT will be in this event. So essentially, all the sagas, whether it's canon or non-canon, will be available in this event. All of the story events will be renewed and get a reset for DB Story. Okay, so... If my understanding is correct, and every single existing story event in the game is getting a reset, like the DBS Broly event, like the Cooler story event, the Namek Saga story events, and so on and so forth, then that's going to be crazy. I mean, that's going to be so many free stones that will be available immediately for current players, right? Especially for someone like me, or a long-term player who has completed every single story event already, if those are getting resets and we can get the stones again, that's going to be hundreds and hundreds of free stones right there. So um, just to be clear, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm misunderstanding it in some way, but that's what it sounds like. And that is pretty damn crazy. Uh, there will also be animations and voices that are going to be implemented into DB Story. And finally, there are no plans to add more stages into Quest. So as far as the Quest mode goes, 27.3 will still be the highest level. For now, maybe in a second part of this update, which is coming later, um, they'll add more Quest stages. But right now it says no plans. So I'm assuming that's not happening anytime soon. Okay, but uh, yeah, DB Story... Um, different sagas from DB to GT, animations, voices, um, and resets of stories. I mean, this all sounds amazing. Uh, this update is definitely off to a good start. So moving on, there's a lot more stuff. Uh, next up, we have Super Warrior's Instinct, which is going to be a bunch of panel missions that will reward players for completing various tasks, completing all the missions, will allow players to token awaken the Goku to LR. There is at least 77 Dragon Stones received from clearing all the missions, and these missions are for beginners. However, current players will be able to do them as well. 
and currently we have no information about the new Goku, uh, LR Goku's abilities. But um, yeah, new missions, new beginner missions, I guess, that are also available to current players. Up to 77 Dragon Stones, or at least 77 Dragon Stones, in addition to some Kai's I can see in the screenshot here. Uh, some medals, some Hercule statues, and uh, of course the, I guess, Awakening medals for the new LR Goku. Or maybe dupes, or... I'm not sure to be honest, because like I said, we don't really have a lot of information about this new Goku right now. All we really know is that he's coming, and that's kind of it. So from there, let's move on to the next feature, which is an update to the Giru Navi system, or the little Giru on the side of your screen. He's going to be renewed to give more information or more recommendations on characters to work on. And they don't really get more specific than that. I'm assuming um, he's just going to be more useful in some way than he is currently. So there you go. There's also going to be Start Dash Stones. So for the first 100 hours since a new account has been made or 100 hours after the update for current players, players can buy two one-time only packs. So it looks like I'm covering the screen again. So let me just fix that. Okay, so there's the start dash and extra, which is 100 stones plus a special stone for 3,060 yen, which is about $30 or so. And then there's the start dash pack, which is 50 stones for 490 yen, which is only about $5. So a very, very good deal. But the thing that I'm most interested in is this new special stone, which in the picture looks kind of turquoise I guess so I guess we can call this the turquoise dragon stone and it allows you to choose from one of the six uh, characters that are shown in this picture here and they are I mean for the most part all really powerful LRs uh, in the game currently right we got the LR Kellen Khalifla we got tech Super Saiyan Broly we have uh, LR God Koo the LR Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, the Int Goku Black, and also LR Ultra Instinct Goku. So with this special stone you get from this start and dash pack, you can choose one of these units. Um, and of course, you know, for the most part, I think they're all good options. If I were a new player, uh, the choice would actually be kind of tough because I mean, the leader skill for LR Godku is probably the most useful just because he's a pure Saiyans and a hybrid Saiyans lead, and that covers a significant number of uh, units in the game, right? But, I mean, UI Goku, I think, is definitely the best of the six units here. Uh, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku is still very powerful. Um... I mean, LR Kellen Khalifa is good too, but their leader skill is not going to be as useful from the start. So, I guess the choice is ultimately up to you. I think it's probably between UI Goku or Godku. Mainly for Godku's leader skill, I don't think he's really that powerful of a unit, but his leader skill is really, really strong. So, um, yeah, that is the start dash pack. Pretty crazy selection in my opinion and for anybody that is missing at least one of these units uh this is an amazing deal and of course if you have all of them then at least get the start dash pack because 50 stones for about five dollars is just too good to pass up so after that we have a hidden potential unleashed all at once feature so on the bottom right next to choose the character there is a unlock everything which will activate all of the available nodes on a character. So obviously the hidden potential system has gone through uh, a couple of upgrades in the past. Like in its first iteration, you had to unlock every single node one after another, which was a huge, huge pain in the butt, right? And then after we got the ability to click on a line of nodes and it'll light up all of the nodes in that line. And once you click on all the lines you wanted, you can click on activate to unlock all of them, which did save us a lot of time compared to the first iteration, but it still takes a while and it still can be really annoying if you miss like one or two nodes and then you're spending the next five minutes trying to find, you know, the ones you missed 
So it was good, but it wasn't perfect. Now, with version Z, you can literally click on one button and it'll unlock all of the hidden potential nodes, at least the ones that are available to you based on how many dupes you have. And it's just gonna save us a ton of time, a ton of headache, and I think it's a great feature, guys. Um, oh, one thing to note is that the abilities like crit, dodge, additional attack, and super attack will not be included so that players can still choose their skills afterwards. So it's gonna unlock the ones where you don't have a choice, like the attack, HP, and defense. And uh, for the ones where you can choose between two skills, you can do that after the fact. And also, the amount of stones needed to redo an ability, basically to change from you know, additional attack to crit or crit to dodge or whatever, has been reduced from 10 stones to one stone. And uh, I'm not sure if this is permanent because I think it might just be something that is part of the upcoming campaign for the version Z release. So uh, I guess we'll have to see, but for now, it seems like they're reducing the cost from 10 to one, which is also a very positive thing, right? And uh, we're getting a hidden potential event renewal. This event is shorter, however, the spaces give more hidden potential orbs. So I can't really say if it's gonna give us more orbs overall, or if it's just gonna be the same number of orbs as before, but on a shorter stage. But like a lot of other features in this update, it's definitely gonna save us time, which is always a good thing. Uh, there's also gonna be an auto play mode. Okay, so this is uh, pretty huge. You can now automatically move in the map and have battle automatically play out. So essentially next to the item button at the bottom of your screen, there's gonna be two new buttons. The first one says auto map, and it takes you through the uh, route on the map with the most items to be obtained. And the other one says auto battle, and it'll just prioritize getting the most key spheres for every character. So if you have both of those uh, nodes or buttons activated, then essentially you're fully autoing the stage and the potential for something like this is huge, especially when it comes to uh, link leveling, for example. So obviously, I'm assuming that you still need to manually re-enter the stage each time, but after that, it's basically on autopilot, it's gonna be much easier to max out the links for any unit you want after this update, right? So that is the auto mode. And uh, we just have a few other features here, such as an update to the team screen. So with this update, you will be able to make up to 50 teams as opposed to the current limit of uh, seven, is it, or eight, something like that. So instead of seven or eight, it's now gonna be 50 teams that you can build and the team cost feature will be completely removed. So. Now, in theory, I guess a rank one account could build an all LR uh, team, right? Which is kind of crazy to think about, but I'm okay with it because I always thought that team cost was stupid from the start. So yeah, no more team cost. And uh, finally, number three, auto team building. So this is gonna be really interesting to see because who knows exactly what they're going to be using as far as the parameters go for auto building a team right like is it going to be based on units that link really well with each other with the most shared links or is it just going to be like the units you have in a category with the most attack or is it going to be a balance of attack and defense um it's really hard to say i'm curious to see how it works i'm assuming it's not going to be that good but when it comes to like a new player, right? Someone who has no idea how team building works, it's gonna be really, really useful. But at the end of the day, um, having knowledge about the game and like how certain units work with each other is probably still best for building teams, right? But we'll see, we'll see. So auto team building, no more team cost, and up to 50 teams that can be built. And, um, it also says the ability to see a character's HP percentage and many more. Okay, so I don't know exactly what that means. Is it like what percentage of the total team HP a certain character accounts for? Or something like that? I guess just more information about the team as you're building it. 
and also the new LR Goku seems to be Fizz and has a leader skill of key plus 3 and HP attack and defense plus 59% to all types. Okay, that makes sense. So he's an all type leader. He's probably going to be the best leader you have when you first start the game, right? So it's good to know that everybody will have at least a somewhat decent all types leader to start. And uh, there's going to be the version Z plan commemorative campaign. Uh, this new campaign will be for players to try out strengthening characters and using the new features. Hyperbolic time chambers will be coming back, okay. And also the hidden potential unleashed support campaign during this event. The hidden potential events will be up every day. And redoing skills will take 1 stone instead of 10 stones during this campaign. Okay, so this was what I was talking about before where I'm pretty sure the reduction of the uh, stone cost for changing hidden potential skills is only for the special campaign and not a permanent thing, which uh, is a little bit unfortunate, but I guess it is what it is. Um, so there you go, guys. That was essentially uh, everything that was talked about during the special version Z stream that happened this morning. Um, there are a few things that I think are missing here that we can uh, also take a look at real quick. So. Uh, the first thing is that clearing events at higher difficulties now automatically clear the lower difficulties. You will also receive rewards from the lower difficulties as well. So, for example, when it comes to a story stage with three difficulties, if you clear Z hard, which is the highest difficulty, the game will act as if you cleared all three difficulties and give you the three stones accordingly, right? And uh, also, due to team costs being removed, some of the witches from Shenron are to be changed. So I want a stronger team becomes I want to be full, I want to increase my team becomes I want to play a lot of events, and I want to increase my team even more becomes I want my super attacks to become stronger. So I guess any of the wishes related to increasing your total team cost are now going to be other wishes. And uh, also you can now search characters in the hidden potential screen with the magnifying glass icon. Characters that have a rainbow sparkle around them can have all of their uh, hidden potential routes opened. So as you can see in this uh, screenshot here, the Shugesh has a rainbow uh, sparkle or circle around him. And that means all of his hidden potential paths can be opened. You have enough dupes to basically rainbow him. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Let me just quickly check if there's anything else uh, that I'm missing. Oh, uh, shout out to... Air Dokkan for this one. So what you're looking at are the different forms of the new free-to-play Goku. So this is the SSR form, and there's the TUR, and finally we have the LR art along with the uh, Kaioken active skill. So that's the new Goku, and uh, that I believe is pretty much it guys for version Z slash 5.0.0. As I said, this is by far the most significant, the greatest, the biggest update in Dokkan history. And the craziest thing is that there is still more stuff coming. In fact, I think I missed a screen here. I did. Okay, so <laughs> I missed this part. Uh, future plans. Here is a few of the upcoming updates. Filter renewal, awaken screen renewal, result screen renewal, summon screen renewal, uh, my data, not really sure what that means, new content, of course, etc. And uh, here's a small preview of what is going to be added in the future. So this would be the uh, awakening screen renewal, I guess. But uh, that's going to be, I guess, a second part of the uh, version Z update for now. Everything we talked about uh, so far will be coming for the first part. It's coming to both Global and JP. I'm not sure if it's going to be at exactly the same time, but it should be relatively close. Okay, so yeah, there you go, guys. That's gonna be today's video, version 5.0.0. Shout out to Harry Turney, uh, Ramerch1995, uh, Dok on Air, and everybody else that made this video possible. And uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are excited for version Z. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, 
awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.